Hey guys, today we're going to talk about why DFP or Google Ad Manager would consider a particular line item ineligible to serve for a certain ad request. So there are six rejection reasons and this could answer some of your questions like, oh, I set up a line item but it's not serving. Um, why is it that the other line item won instead of this and this one is not serving at all? Or you know, there could be a lot of scenarios that you have questions as to why a certain line item is not serving or is not working as expected or as you intended to. So one, first rejection reason, frequency capping. So when you say frequency capping, it's this setting right here within your line item. Okay, so let's say, for example, you set, you set it to three per day. So this means you're only allowing this line item to serve no more than three times per unique user per day. So if this certain line item that you created has already exhausted that limit, then it's going to wait another day for it to start serving again. So that could be one of the rejection reasons why a line item could be ineligible to serve. Next, daytime parting. For daytime parting, if you set your line item okay, to like just run on a specific time period, for example, this line item, I just want it to run from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And I want it to apply to all days, for example. And then I can choose whether I would like this to follow the user's time zone or my Google Ad Manager time zone. So if you do that, and if the user visits the site outside of this time frame, then this line item will be ineligible to serve. Next, ahead of schedule. Let's say you have a line item and you set it to an absolute line item. So it's either standard or, or bulk, right? So for the standard, let's say uh, your quantity goal is only 10,000 impressions and it's going to end on the 31st of May. And if it's ahead of schedule, meaning your satisfaction index is good, meaning you are following a good pace so far and you're meeting your goal, and let's say, for example, it's almost May 31st and we have already reached like nine, th let's say 9,995. You're ahead of schedule and you don't need to serve this line item for now because it's not struggling to meet its delivery goal. It's meeting the delivery goal. So that could be one of the reasons why DFP or ads, Ad Manager could reject that line item for a given ad request and deem that ineligible. Next is Roadblock. Roadblock, it depends if you have this feature enabled for your Google Ad Manager. It's called Guaranteed Roadblocks. So you can find that under, under Admin Global Settings Features. Now if you have that enabled, this is what happens in the line item. For display creative section, you will now have this option that says all, right? So let's say, for example, you targeted run of network and you go to a website, meaning you're targeting all the ad units on a particular page. So you're telling DFP or ad manager now that you only serve this line item if this particular line item can serve on all the different ad units on a page. It's all or nothing, okay? Right there. So all creatives associated with this line item will appear together on a page or the line item cannot serve. That's roadblock. So next, line item is out of the right size creative. So with this line item, for example, that I created, so let's say test, line item right and let's say you targeted a 300 by 250 for this one and then here comes the user visiting a page and the only ad unit defined on that particular page is 728 by 90. so then this line item is not eligible because it's only targeting 300 by 250 and not 728 by 90. and again that is a reason why your ad server could reject or consider that line item 
ineligible for that ad request. And lastly, exclusions. For exclusions, let's say I created a label in Ad Manager. It's under Admin Inventory, and it's called Labels. And I chose Competitive Exclusion, for example, and I named it Airlines. Now, this label right here will be used in my line item setting if I have, let's say, two different competitors and I'm setting up two different line items for them, but I don't want them to show up at the same time on the same web page because they're competitors. So for the label, let's say I'm creating this for Alaska Airlines, right? And then I'm targeting a 300 by 250 unit, for example, and I will add the label here, which is Airlines, the one I created earlier. Then do my targeting as applicable. So then I'll create another ad unit. And this time, let's pretend I'm creating this for Virgin America. Okay, and this time I'll still target the same size, for example, and I will still add the label airlines. So you're now telling your ad server or ad manager that, hey, these two different line items never serve them all together simultaneously on the same page because they have an exclusion, they're competitors. So that could be one of the reasons why a line item can be tagged or considered ineligible to serve for a given ad request. So if you have any questions or if, you were, if you're wondering why your line item is not serving or is not working, revisit all these six rejection reasons and that will help guide you for troubleshooting. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.